ओके थैंक यू सो सो ऑन नवीन फ्लोरिन इटसेल्फ सो दिस इज अ बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ व्हाट आई सेड सो एज आई सेड यू नीड टू बेट ऑन द मैनेजमेंट इफ द मैनेजमेंट इज राइट दे विल चूज द राइट मॉलिक्यूल दे विल चूज द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड दे विल ग्रो इट सो जस्ट लुक एट द नवीन फ्लोरिन एग्जांपल ओके लास्ट 5 इयर्स सो आई हैव बीन इन्वेस्टेड इन नवीन फ्लोरिन अर्लियर राइट नाउ आई डोंट हैव इट ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज़ ऑफ द वैल्यूएशन पार्ट but if you just look at the last 5 years when there so navin florin has started his journey only after there was a recent change in the management once the management uh, so there was a change in management that's the time when that got when that stock actually got re-rated so i just uh, give you example what has happened actually in navin florin so earlier management was actually guiding for capex of somewhere around 200 crores when the market cap was 5000 crores and that's where basically i was like why these people are guiding only for 200 crore capex when the market cap itself is 5000 crore how much these people are able to will be able to grow with this just 200 crore capex when the management got changed that management actually announced a big capex and that's where the complete re-rating happened so that management actually got a new contract that management actually sensed the opportunities in the florination and that's where the complete fortune had changed for the navin florin so i remember the stock is going from 700 750 rupees to straight uh, 2500 uh, rupees after the management change and when they announced the new capex so that's what happens when uh, you have a right management in place Uh, second on speciality uh, chemical side so there are so as you said uh, there are very few companies uh, so uh, you don't know any companies which are uh, truly speciality in india but uh, i would say there are few so uh, if you look at poshak it's completely speciality chemical company they don't do any commodity products it's complete speciality so 100% pure speciality uh, company earlier they were doing some commodity products but the por- product portfolio or bouquet has been changed since last 2 uh, years it's been a pure play speciality chemical company now again disclosure i am holding poshak uh, there are few more companies which are uh, pure play uh, i would say speciality companies uh, apart from uh, this poshak so ether industry if you know uh, again this is a pure play Uh, chemical com- specialty chemical company but uh, obviously the valuation is too high uh, but that's a pure play specialty chemical company so there are few companies which are pure play specialty chemical companies now when it comes to valuation part uh, i always keep saying valuation is a function of two uh, parameters and i i call them gods of valuation these are the only two parameter i would say which actually decides the valuation one is your return on capital second is your growth the return on capital ensures that you have certain moat in the business so if you have better return on capital obviously you will have certain moat in the business whereas growth ensures that you are able to uh, you are able to generate returns for your shareholders so uh, if there is a high return on capital but no growth uh, the uh, those businesses can't get better valuation good valuation uh, vice versa if there is a good growth but no return on capital again these people won't get the valuation so return on capital and growth together decides the valuation of a company so if certain company is doing say 40% return on capital then theoretically if that company is having enough growth opportunities then that company can grow at 40% without any external funding so i am talking theoretically here if they have more growth opportunities then what they will do is they will actually get funding from outside so they will dilute some of the uh, equity and they will try to grow more than 40% so they will grow more than the return on capital so something that has happened with the case of bajaj finance so bajaj finance has a return on capital return on equity of 20% 21% but they were able to grow at 40% 45% for last few years 
and that they are able to do by raising more and more equity at a higher price right so uh, if the company has enough so that's where i said growth is also very important in addition to return on capital so if there are no growth opportunities then even if you have 40% return on capital you won't be able to grow at 40% because you don't have uh, you don't have enough growth opportunity to reinvest growth always comes from reinvestment and reinvestment will happen only if there are enough growth opportunities lot of time what happens is since the growth opportunities are are not much people uh, companies will try to reinvest at a lower return on capital so incremental return on capital will be low and in that case the valuation should also go down so uh, i think these are the only two things return on capital and growth i think these two thing will decide the valuation so some company if is able to do 40% return on capital and that company is having enough growth opportunities then i would say 40 pe multiple is reasonable for them is it good multiple for them if these people are having uh, 40% return on capital but the growth is 50% or even 30% i would say uh, still i would say 40% so uh, when we look at valuation these two are the most important parameters but in addition to this there is one more parameter which people typically ignore and that is uh, the i would say what you can call uh, the liquidity so there will be very few companies Uh, to chase also too much of liquidity will be chasing too few companies right and uh, there is also something called as required rate of return of an investor so if particular if some fii is having uh, his cost of capital as say 6% 7% and his required rate of return is only 12% right and if he is able to see after 3 years uh this particular stock is going to uh, be say 5000 rupees then he will be ready to uh, invest even up to 4000 rupees today or 3 3700 rupees today so that's where basically the multiple actually goes up so if you look at navin florin that's what uh, that that can be the justification of the valuation so if i am able so if i am if i am an fii and if i am able to see that this stock Uh, after three years, even with forty p multiple, is going to give me twelve percent uh, returns from this value. I am I am okay putting money uh, in this company at this particular valuation. What is important here is the certainty of the earnings of the business. So if the uh, if there is a lot of certainty about the earnings of the business, then people will be ready to give higher multiple. because they are very certain that they will get that 12% return from this company for next 3 years so they will be ready to put uh, that kind of valuation and that's what is happening in a lot of uh, consumer stock like asian paints or pd light or uh, nestle or those kind of stocks because there people know that there is a certainty of earning growth and uh, the risk to the earning is very very low so there i am ready to give multiple of say 70 or 75 as well because i know that my cost of funding itself is very low so yeah i am happy even if i get say 9% 10% return but if there is a surety of return that i will get that returns then i will be happy giving even 70% 70 p multiple so i think p multiple uh, has multiple uh, parameters to it so Uh, growth and roc is uh, the fundamental parameters but apart from these two fundamental cap- parameters i think liquidity and uh, investors rate of return these two are also very important hmm hmm no that 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 i agree jeevan bhai but my personal experience is uh, my best investments have been those where the growth was missing and the roc was pathetic in in either single digit or or um, 10 12% so that, that where, kind of roc so that's where so basically the chemicals as an example yeah. so yeah. that's where basically you will make multi bagger returns because you are basically playing on multiple uh, levers in that company so you are playing on correct uh, sales growth you are playing on margin expansion you are playing on roc expansion you are playing on pe expansion so if you are Absolutely. playing on these yes. many levers definitely it's going to be a multi bagger 
but i am just trying to uh, tell you why people are ready to give 50 pe multiple 60 pe multiple to a particular specialty company because there they see uh, there they have the visibility of growth for next say, 3 year next 5 years and they are happy with say 12% returns for next 5 years i think that's where they are ready to give that kind of multiple to those uh, companies